So just to start, uh, let me know your name, your city, and uh, what project you're here uh, representing. Hi, my name is Deb Hansen, and I split my time between northern Michigan, about five hours north of here, and southwest Florida. Great, and um, what did you come to the, why did you decide to come to this conference? Uh, I uh, had never heard of Grace until last summer, and she was the commencement speaker when a friend of mine graduated from seminary. Uh, I felt a growing pull towards activism, and so many activist groups operate in what feels like to me an adversarial, you know, pick a battle and fight, fight, fight. And what I appreciate about Grace's thinking and the thinking of this group is that it really is trying to build something together and not making other people wrong. Uh, I like the fact that it's very grounded in depth of thinking and that it's very practical, that it doesn't just stop with a philosophy, that it really focuses on practical action and making a difference in our communities. Mm -hmm. So let me know about a uh, time this week that you think you're going to take home and just talk about all the time. Oh, wow. Um, I was really inspired by probably most inspired by the taking war zones into zones of peace. And I can see many ways to put that into practical use. And some of them Shay brought up this morning of even changing my language to be less aggressive and warlike um, and to really create a space where everyone can show up and be real and be who they are. So um, many practical things, and, and a lot of it is just boy, the inspiration of hearing all the stories of what everybody's doing in their geography. I really go away feeling supported, like I'm not alone out there, and have some good ideas um, to take that. Hmm. Well, did you have any um, tensions or sort of struggles that you were working through this week that you would be interested in sharing? Yeah, I think at times the um, the way that we put labels on things are, are helpful at times, um, but also limiting. So I I, I really appreciated uh, uh, was it Victor Hardy? Vincent. Vincent. Mm -hmm. That wasn't right. Vincent Harding being here with us and talking about a um, radical revolution of values because I think that that's where we can find some common ground without losing our sense of rootedness in a culture, in a religion, in a geography. So I see a lot of promise in that and really always keeping in mind of, of not not dividing people from one another with labels. That um, human being and seeing ourselves as part of a common human family is the most important thing of all. Hmm. Do you have any reflections on what you've learned from the city of Detroit? Um, for me, having worked in Detroit uh, on four different projects, uh, it was a reconnecting time. Um, I'd love to, I, I always leave a lot of my heart in Detroit. Detroit really resonates with me in a lot of different ways. Um, what I really take away though is that I didn't realize a lot of the good things that are going on right now. So hearing those success stories of uh, use of Shakur, for example, of, of Sterling Tolls, um, the people who are doing the urban agriculture and why they're doing it, that it's much more than just raising food. Um, it really reconnects me with the struggles of the city and it's like if there's hope for Detroit and I believe there is, there's hope for all of us. And so if anybody was thinking about coming to this conference in 2014, what would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them that it is, uh, even if they're not sure why they're coming, um, if they're doing any kind of community activism or working to make a difference in their small or large world, that it is important to be here to form community. Great. Any final thoughts? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. That's it. Thank you.